Welcome back to another Ruckus video. Today's video, we basically take the whole bike apart. Well, at least try to. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna treat it as if it was a car. I'm gonna unclip the harness, and then I'm just gonna take off the exhaust, and then like, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So hopefully by the end of today's video, the motor will be dropped. That's that's the goal, to drop the motor today. Um, to drop a motor on a Ruckus is not that hard. It's like, what, um, three things? This right here, this mount right here, and then you have this long bolt, right? I think this is the bolt, right? Is this the bolt? I think so. Or maybe that's the bolt. One of these bolts are like super long and it like basically holds the motor up. It's like one motor mount, basically. So with enough talking, let's just uh, get to work. If you guys don't know, this light isn't um, OEM to this bike. So what they did was they chopped up the harness and stuff. I hope that I'll be able to still use this um, like harness while it's already cutting stuff for the tail light flush mount kit that goes underneath the seat. If not, then well, I get that situated anyway but uh, what I'm gonna do now is just uh, I guess remove the harness or try my best to remove the harness so So I got pretty much the harness all from the back end. Now I'm working my way up. Took off the little um, cover for the uh, field, the field tank cover. And to get this completely removed, um, I just gotta waste hella gas, bro. Cause that's what exactly is gonna happen. It's gonna be hella gas, bro. And I don't wanna waste gas like that because it's gonna smell like that and I'm gonna get a huge headache. But um, we're gonna remove the battery box and then um, just took the harness away because I know I'm gonna have to take stuff off from here anyway. I gotta strip this whole front end and lights and all that other stuff so what what happened to my fuel thing say less bro i got you. so i took this hose off the fuel pump and brought the whole gas container thing here as you guys can see um this that hose what i just showed you went there and then this clips in so it can prime up the fuel thing i think or maybe i don't know but uh what i'm gonna do is put the gas from there into there because hey bro that's a gallon worth of 93 and y'all know price is only going up, so hey, bro. Got the battery box cover off, and this is a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Jesus. So I got the battery box cover off. Now I'm trying to figure out where do I go from here with the harness things. Cause this whole thing has to come off. So I'm trying to see exactly the best way I can get all this to come off and still be on there. Like instead of, I'm gonna confuse you. Time to make my first phone call to Ryan. <laughs> My ruckus, best ruckus you ever seen, huh, blood? Yeah, blood. Yeah. What's up, bro? Okay, so I am lost. <laughs> I have no idea which four bolts you're talking about. So I would start plugging like all those wires that are coming up there. Okay, so I do unplug like all these wires right here, like that like go. Your, your hand controls and all that stuff. Okay. Oh, so these wires. Okay. Yeah, they, they plug in over by the triple tree. Like right, right in there, yeah. Okay, right in here. Just got off the phone with Ryan, and he walked me through everything I have to do in order to um, get this whole thing completed. So, tonight, this bike will be, um, not, well, this scooter will not be scooting. Scooting like Alexander Putin. Eating new fig Newton. You like fig Newton? Do you like fig Newton? Sorry for 
for the lack of filming. Bro, I'm exhausted, bro. It's hot. It's like no air outside. I'm in the garage. For the most part, I'm almost done. I got almost the harness completely like removed. The only thing I have to do now is get this little punk ass clip out and I can't get it out. The harness is like completely all removed. The front end is basically almost done, dude. Like, it's literally almost done. I just gotta get that one stupid little clip out and then we can start a process of uh, dropping the motor. Literally, three seconds later, I was like, you know, if I pull it, I break it, then Zosh built. But I pulled it, then break it. Now the harness is completely out of the car. Well, oh, car. The harness is completely out. I just got to get this brake cable off this right here. Got to keep yanking it so it can come off, but this is it. My harness is out, son. And, of course, um, I had a mistake with my um, freaking NCY... Um, uh, CDI box. I'm just gonna solder those on to the ECU itself. But that's it, Blay boy. Wow. <laughs> no more bike, bro. Check out how the bike looks now. Wow. <laughs> it looks like a bicycle, bro, with an engine on it. I still have to take off. Well, I took this off already. That comes off. I gotta take off this um, stem. I wonder if I should take this off. Um, I watched a Motonocity vlog when he first got his ruckus and he just uh, dremeled like a, um, a slit in it and make like a flathead to remove it. Um, I'ma talk to Ryan. Maybe I can keep that on and just cover it when I, when I get the frame painted or whatever. But um, dude, believe it or not, these little ruckuses aren't that bad to work on. Whew, I'm kinda tired. I'm debating if I should drop the motor this video or next video. I don't even know how long this video is. And if it's too short, then I'm sorry. But I think I'm gonna get everything ready to be dropped for the video. So I'm gonna get rid of the um, the stem neck, the handlebar. Well, I think I'm gonna keep, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the stem neck, the handlebars, and probably drop it from the frame right here. Loosen out these two bolts and drop it completely. And uh, next video, I just drop the motor and get the motor prepped up and stuff like that. Get ready to get this thing painted and put it all back together with all the new parts. Sounds good. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I am pretty exhausted, bro. Not even trying to complain or anything, but gonna head out for a nice drive. Go visit my favorite little person in the entire world. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Come back tomorrow for another Ruckus video. And then after that will be my tune video. Gonna mix and match up the content for you guys so you guys don't get too bored of the Integra content. You don't get too bored of the Ruckus content. But thank you guys for watching. If you thought this was a good video, smack that like button for me. Glad to be great. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I catch you guys next time. Peace.